YouTube regulations state that I have to let you guys know when a video is sponsored, and I'm letting you guys know that this video is not sponsored. I know Fishbrain have sponsored some other bigger YouTubers in the past, but this video is not one of them. You know, the internet is an amazing place. There's tons of information at our fingertips. There's even YouTube videos that you can watch and channels you can subscribe to. But you know what's kind of annoying sometimes? Ads. More specifically, one ad for an app named Fish Brain. Guys, let me tell you, Google knows me too well. They know that I'm a fisherman, and so they target ads to me that a fisherman would be interested in, namely this one app called Fish Brain. Guys, I have gotten ads for this Fish Brain app on almost every video I click on, there's another ad, boom, popping up. I literally see this ad in my sleep. So what is Fish Brain exactly? Well, according to the ad, it's an app that helps you catch fish. We live in an age where there's an app for pretty much anything, so it makes sense that some fishing manufacturer would go, hey, Let's make an app that'll help you catch more fish. Now, I gotta say, Fish Brain must have an incredible marketing budget because this ad, like I said, has been literally on almost every video I've clicked on on YouTube, which is crazy. So what even is this app, Fish Brain, and how is it supposed to help you catch more fish? Well, according to the Google Play Store, long live Android, this app apparently helps you find great new fishing spots, it gives tips and photos, you get news updates, and you get to share your catches. Okay, sounds pretty cool. This app has almost a five-star rating, so it's got to be good. It's got over a million downloads, and it looks pretty cool, I must say. As you can see, there's a picture of a big striped bass. Apparently, it has lake contour and depth, forecasts, lure choices, all kinds of cool stuff. Well, needless to say, I gave in and finally downloaded this app because I was really curious as to how useful an app for fishing would be. So the first thing you see when you open this app is kind of a social media feed of all of people's catches that they've logged. There's pictures here. Uh, it tells location of where they caught the fish and what lure they caught it on or bait. He also gives you the opportunity to comment, like them, and follow them as individual anglers. Overall, this app's kind of set up like Instagram or Facebook. There's also fishing forecasts that allow you to see the forecast of when the optimum fishing time is going to be. And then there's a actually really unique feature. You remember when I said that people who use this app log their catches and they put down uh, the location of where they caught the fish and what lure they used. Well, this is the basis for this app. People logging their catches. If you go to the map, you can see all of these locations where people have caught fish and where they have logged it. So if you click on one, like right here, you can see someone caught some largemouth bass and they list what they caught it on. And you can actually zoom right in and see the actual location where they caught this fish. Another thing it allows you to do is search by species. So you can click uh, the species tab and you can select a species, let's say flathead catfish, and you can search locations. And it's gonna show you all the areas where people caught and logged flathead catches in your area. So overall, the app seems somewhat useful. You get to the ability to see what people are catching in the area, what lures they're using, you get to find new places where people are catching different species you may have not known about before. Okay, so the app looks pretty cool, but is this app even accurate? Well, I searched one of the locations that I love to fish a lot, and it showed that some people had caught some wipers there, which are hybrid striped bass in that particular area. And it just so turns out, I was there the other day and I actually caught a nice wiper. It didn't make it into a video, so here it is. All right, guys, so I just switched up to this little hair jig right here. Gonna fish it a little bit slower since there's only shad in here. Maybe this can coax something to bite. Oh my goodness. Got him. Got him. Huge fish. Huge fish. What the sand? Oh my goodness. Big fish. Big, 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 big bass. There's a big bass right in there. Oh my goodness. He hammered that hair jig. Oh no, no, that's not, that's not, you know what that is? That ain't no bass. It's a wiper. It's a wiper, that's what it is. Oh, that thing scared the snot out of me. I was just dangling that bait down there. He just crushed it. That is crazy. Summer wiper, guys, on a hair jig. That thing scared the living snot out of me. He tapped it right there. He was right in that causeway. Awesome. As you could see, that was the exact same area where other people had logged catching wipers, and I went there and I caught a wiper. So obviously this app is accurate, but there are some downsides to it. 
shirt change. Now the core concept of this app seems pretty decent. Well, there are some problems with this app that are inherently gonna keep me from keeping it on my phone. Let's talk about some of them. The first problem I have with this app is performance issues. I have a fairly new phone and this app seems sluggish and slow. It freezes up a lot, especially when I'm using the maps. It freezes, it glitches here and there. Now this could just be my phone, but I've seen some other reviews of people saying that this app has serious reliability issues. Granted, this can all be fixed with software updates. I'm sure the developers of this app are working hard to try and make sure this doesn't happen, but right now, it's a little buggy. The second problem I have with this app is that it's advertised as a free app. You have to pay over $40 a year to access the fishing maps and to access the ability to see what catches people have logged in certain areas, which is the most useful feature for me. I would be happy paying $5 a year, $10 a year, even $20 a year, but $40 a year for what you actually get is pretty steep, and I think that is the main thing that is hurting this app right now. If they could somehow drop the price down lower, it would be a lot more appealing to other people, myself included. Another thing about this app that I'm not the craziest about, and this is just a personal thing for me, is that I do not like to share my fishing spots. So if I would use this app, I would not be logging any of my catches for anybody to see. This app has over a million downloads on the Google Play Store, and it probably has the same amount, if not more, on iOS. And that's potentially a million people that have the access to see where I'm catching fish if I choose to log them. Now, I myself, as an angler, I do not like to publicly announce where I catch my fish. Now, sure, I'm fine with telling my friends and family where I'm catching fish, but if you watch my YouTube channel, I do not tell you where I'm catching my fish. And the main reason is, number one, I'm usually not fishing huge bodies of water that are open to the public. It's usually tiny little niche spots that I find here and there. And if I would just open it up to the public, chances are the spots would get ruined. Like I said, I tell my friends and my family about it, but I try to keep it at that. Now the final reason why I will not be using this app a whole lot is because it's an app and it's on my phone. We live in an era right now where these things dominate our lives. We're bombarded constantly with all types of gadgets and media. And when I go fishing, that is my escape. That is my time to disconnect and to just focus on the task at hand, which is fishing and exploring nature and enjoying nature. I couldn't really see myself using this app out in the field because when I'm fishing, that is the only thing I'm thinking about. I'm not worried about no apps or phones. And that's the main reason why I would not use this app a whole lot is because it's on my phone. Like I said, I don't use my phone a whole lot when I'm fishing. I like to fish. Now, one thing I will say about this app is it could be useful if I was traveling out of state and I don't know the area, I don't know the water. And if you do download this app, you do get a 30-day free trial, so that is nice. But for 40 bucks a year, I don't know if I would use this app enough to justify the cost. But again, guys, I want to let you know this is just my opinion. If this app works for you, if you want to spend the $40 a year, if you think it's worth it, go for it. It's definitely going to help you catch fish, and it's not a bad product, but for me, it's just not really my thing. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you guys want to see more videos from the channel, you can click the subscribe button right here, and if you want to check out my last video, you can click right here. And as always, stay hooked. I'll see you later.